Hi, my, hi all my friends. Sorry, I'm tongue twisted. Um, gosh, oh my gosh, but I gotta get this out in a hurry. Um, recorded, because I am on my way to get out and go on the pass. Um, the crazy pass that I was talking about. Um, I think they call it the Sis Siskiyou Pass and then the Mount Shasta one. But today is my only day to get over that pass and my trip starts now. <laughs> and uh, it's late though, it's 11.30. Um, I got into the Eugene area pretty late last night. And uh, yeah, so it's just been crazy. And um, yeah, but it was, I had a restful day yesterday, just really took it easy. And, uh, and then just emotionally trying to get ready for this pass. But the good thing is, is that the weather is cooperating. The only bad thing is, is that I'm leaving late. <laughs> I want to leave at 10.30 and it's almost 11.30, so I'm hoping it only takes four hours to get over the pass, but I'm not positive. It could be um, five hours, but hopefully not. But tomorrow the weather changes and everything changes tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to be a mix of ice and uh, you know, snow and rain. and. Um, and then I think more snow will start to stick and that's when they start to require chains. Even though I do have chains, I just do not want to have to put them on. But I'm a little uh, kind of sad that I have to carry the chains with me because they're heavy and they're a lot of weight, you know, to carry with me. But I have to have them in case the weather changes they will demand and require that I have the chains to get over the pass and, and you know Oregon can't predict the weather they try but you know everything can change day to day so anyways but the cool thing is the good news is that if I don't use the chains and I will keep my receipt um, they can take it back at uh, Les Schwab. If you don't use them after April 1st, they'll take them back. So I just love Les Schwab about that, right? We all like to have our money back if we don't use something. So that's the good news. The other thing is I'll be finding a lot of winds. So I'm just gonna take my time, follow the truckers, you know, just take it easy and um, that's all I'm gonna do. But I will be finding a lot of wind and I didn't get my alignment done so there's some bit of play still in my wheel but um, it is what it is and I'll just take it easy and hopefully I can get a little alignment done sometime in my in my future <laughs> but right now the important thing is get up and over this pass all right so I'll see you in the next clip hopefully I can get uh, something of this crazy pass that I keep talking about <laughs> for you guys all right but it does get more steep. So um, again, I'm in Oregon I-5 and it is before Roseburg, okay, and Medford, so I'm going south. Uh, I forgot how many miles I'm away from Roseburg, but the sign there might say, but anyways. Um, so this is just the start of it and then uh, it starts to get more steep with climbing and descending and usually it's about 6% grade uh, descending that will start to happen. Sorry about the wipers, I'll only do little clips here and there, but it is raining and there's nothing I can do about it today. But try to get this uh, Siskiyou, Siskiyou um, pass uh, so you guys can get a chance to at least get a glimpse of it, okay, here and there. All right. I wanted to show you that this is like the chain up area. <laughs> There's all these signs, chain up, chain up. <laughs> so this probably gets even a little bit more steep than what I just came through, but I'm not positive. But I that's the first signs that I have seen that say the chain up area. I don't, I didn't see it before this point. Um, it's interesting because I just came through a lot of crazy hills, steep grades. 
This definitely had those warnings. And this truck is in my way. I'm going to see if I can get over here so you can see this hill coming up here ahead of me. going the other direction <laughs> once in a while and I want to I want to yell at them no what are you doing you're going the wrong way <laughs> oh my gosh going the other way and going into um, Portland or not Portland but just before Portland is a lot of you know crazy weather oops sorry it's bouncing again I need to figure out a different uh, way of holding on to my phone uh, because of the bounciness of my truck. Alright, so here comes the downgrade. And remember, anybody who's new to uh, driving hills, you want to let your motor do the work for you and so you don't have to brake a lot because braking, riding your brake um, is not good for your vehicle. So... Um, yeah, I need to slow, I brake to slow myself down and then I release and just let the vehicle slow itself down. It does pretty well. I really don't have, or I'm not tempted to ride the brake. I don't need to, you know, have that constant needing to slow myself down. The van does very well. I, I can't be happier with it. But again, anybody new, don't ride your brake. Some really steep hills, um, depending on the grade of it, and as you're coming down, are definitely windy ones, tight, windy ones. You can drop your gear into second, or your uh, your gears into second gear. But uh, yeah, just always stay mindful of that. All right, so that was that one. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of what it's like to go over the Siskiyou Pass. I tried to keep, I mean, had a lot more footage, but I don't want to make it too long. But, you know, do you have a couple little clips, gives you an idea what it's like, but just up, down, up, down of similar, uh, you know, grades of what you saw in, in scenery. But it's very beautiful um, the whole way. It is It is a fabulous drive, but it, it is that up down up down a six percent grade at times um anyways but the next one will be going over the mount shasta pass 
which the elevation is like 6,000 feet, so it's crazy. And there was still snow on the sides of the road. That part was kind of cool because it wasn't on the road. <laughs> and uh, so just a little glimpse of it off to the side of the terrain. But it was, it was a very beautiful drive. And then you come down um, when you're in California and you get over the pass. Uh, then you land in Weed, Oregon. I mean, Weed, California. I don't know why everyone keeps calling it Oregon. So Weed, California and just before the city of Mount Shasta. So um, that's very pretty too. So I'll see you in that next video. I love all my friends and I will see you then.